The Front Rooms Survival Difficulty Class Habitable Safe Sustained Communities Devoid of Backrooms Entities The Front Rooms are a level of the true baseline reality, separate from the back rooms. Description The Front Rooms are considered the major counterpart to the back rooms. They are also the easiest and most practical entrance point to the back rooms. The front rooms are reasonably large, having approximately 150 million square kilometers of habitable land and 510 million square kilometers, including water and other substances. It is divided into four or seven major portions of land, depending on your concept of a continent, and thousands of minor parts. The atmosphere, temperature, and other conditions seem to be very safe for exploring and settling sedentary behavior. The dimension seems to be pretty old, as a lot of buildings, old and new, were constructed and destroyed there. Some theories even say that human life existed in the territory thousands of years ago. The new land has a natural satellite that orbits around it. Residents of the front rooms called it the Moon. The planet also seems to be rotating around a considerably massive star, denominated Sun. The temperature is assumed to be freezing on the poles, and extremely hot at the center, which causes a large part of the population to live in the middle of the two sections for a good balance. It is implied that the front rooms have a lot of depressions and elevations, some elevations even contain parts of the magma that is present in the center of the planet. The material is very hot, and it is advised not to approach it, not even with proper equipment, unless for research purposes. Theories claim that there are materials that are hotter than magma, but they say it's deeper into the center of the globe. The giant parts of the land are divided into smaller and bigger plates, which are present underneath them. If these segments move too much, parts of the territory may elevate or combine, causing strange anomalies. This apparently can also happen underwater, but it's harder to notice. If these movements are too extreme, the adventurers can experience an unpleasant experience, with buildings being significantly damaged or destroyed. Unfortunately, some explorers pass away during the event. Unfortunately, Due to the intensive action of the explorers settled there to their habitat, the future might be dark for the inhabitants there. The average temperature is rising, and the anomalies that usually happen are getting more frequent and more powerful. If they don't exert more effort to stop it, the reality that they live in may be uninhabitable in a few years. Entities There are no backrooms entities present on this level. Instead, all entities there are exclusive to the dimension, all denominated and separated as different species. Colonies and Outposts Instead of dividing themselves between colonies and outposts, explorers of the front rooms have founded minor parts of land called countries. These colonies can divide themselves into even smaller colonies for a better assembly of communities. Entrances and Exits Currently, there are some guaranteed ways to exit the back rooms. The most known exit is level 3999, which happens by walking out the glass doors in the level. More possible entrances from the back rooms to the front rooms. Exiting any door at daytime in the Promised Land takes you here. You can also get to the front rooms by reaching the end of the staircase on level 92, 23, 37, 20, 36, 85, 47, 75, 807, and jump into the integral void. However, this is not confirmed. Passing the barrier has a very small chance of leading you here. Throwing a paper airplane in level 36 has a small chance of leading you here. Exits make sudden movements into walls, ceilings, and slash or floors. If you are fast enough to where objects can't become solid by the time you interact with them, you can no-clip into either level 0 or level 1. It is very rare, 
but you can noclip into level 2 and level 3 as well. There will be an added modifier if you escaped via the frame-perfect noclip into two collapsing nebulae in an unknown level. <laughs>